Is it true? We cannot also rule out the activities of the police. Sometimes the orders from above and some officers who act on their own conscience, not on the conscience of uh, the entire police. This is also very in, in important because sometimes you have to analyze that uh, even within the police, maybe some people are, uh, uh, assume that there may be people who are interested in this violence, that they believe that when the violence is on, they make people prove what is there. For those who are already fed up of the system, can use only that. So somebody was saying that an officer was beating him up, asking him why he was not joining the strike, and I was wondering what was the intention of that officer at that moment. So we do all these are uh, some of the debates within the public, and we'll be giving them a deeper insight. Let me have that story once again, and later we'll be going on and join, uh, be joined with our by our discussants in the discussion. Following the planned meeting by the Lord Mayor Elias Lukwago, involving all city stakeholders to draft a way forward in restoring the office of the Lord Mayor, the meeting was postponed to Thursday after they learned that police has already taken over full control of Saint Matia Mulumba Catholic Parish in Odi Kampala where the meeting was supposed to be held. One of the organizers, Honorable Semuju Nganda Ibrahim, says they cannot fight with the police in a place of peace, so they are to have the meeting this Thursday. We don't know. We want to continue to give the dignity to places of worship. We can leave the NRM and their police to go and disgrace places of worship, something that they have done before, but we will not join them in that party. So they can go and beat up worshippers like they have started doing because that information has come to us. In fact, for us, we wanted to have a meeting after that uh, one o'clock service. That's why we announced two o'clock. But even those who are going for their routine prayers have been beaten on the instructions of the Inspector General of Police, Kari Kaiura, and that stops us from having that meeting because we will not achieve the purpose for which we are inviting. This was said in a press conference at the Lord Mayor's residence in Wakariga, where Basariro Asman, the President General of Jema, offered offices to coordinate efforts to restate the Lord Mayor. Lord Mayor, Emili Muje, Ejo Kudiza Enteveye, Abasaji Abariyake, Jebari Bagalo Kusikambula, Neheba Remele Demukubo, Agenda Kujikoliranga Wano, Tuwa <laughs> They proceeded to the Jema offices in Mengo where they addressed the public and also announced it hold a stakeholders meeting on Thursday. Police tried to block the convoy, but later on they had to proceed. I think you are still following us. We are analyzing how best can we control and prevent city violence in the year 2014. Like I was telling you, there are so many interested parties in Kampala politics. Remember, the government knows that if the opposition takes over the city automatically, it will be bad news for the NRM government. But also, the IGP came up one time and said that uh, sometimes the opposition uh, leaders provoke the police. Now, who provokes who? Is it the police that provokes the opposition or it's the opposition that provokes uh, the police? We cannot also rule out uh, the uh, presence of some youths in the city. There are some youths sometimes who are maybe, uh, maybe paid off to engage in some uh, of these uh, demonstrations. Uh, and also we have to believe there's uh, maybe a section of youths. Uh, for example, there's a group known as the Chitata Group. I don't know where that group is. Uh, and the other group of the Chiboko Squad and all these. So this presence of these various groups with different interests in the city cannot be ruled out also. So in our deep analysis, we'll be analyzing what's the solution to to have a violence-free Kampala in the year 2014. The young children were complaining during their meeting. They say they are the ones who are affected by tear gas, yet sometimes they don't know even anything about Uganda's politics. We have seen how the meeting was taken at a mosque. Now the, 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 those who are going for prayers were affected. 
So we believe that in the move towards 2016, a lot of political action is going to be happening. Let me take you directly to our guests in the discussion so that we get started with our discussion. Welcome to the show. Thank you uh, very much. Mm. This is Anas Chibumbi Benjamin, former Kampala Central MP Aspiland, and the ex-deputy spokesman and the ex-national coordinator of the People's Development Party. But apparently, I'm in the National Resistance Movement. You close it. Yes, I did. I remember sharing with you uh, the last time we were on the show. Uh, that was last year. I'm so uh, privileged to be hosted again on this uh, renowned uh, television station because what you're producing is quality uh, for the nation, and this is what we want as uh, the upcoming generation. Exactly. That's the introduction. Let me go to the other side. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Karanzi. This is uh, Sharif Santong Nambare. He's also a former contestant and uh, an aspirant in uh, this recent Butambara by-election. Mm. I want to thank the viewers for having given uh, a premendable audience. And we think we, we're going to give them the best. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Once again, we are glad to the viewers who are already tuning in to record TV to be part of uh, this discussion. They say that the errors the, the of vandalism and violence ended. Is it true? Is that no, uh, they won't end. What uh, actually, I'm surprised that uh, all along what we've been trying to uh, speak in corridors has eventually uh, been revealed. Mm. If you had critically the uh, member of parliament for Mukono, uh, is it Mukono North or South mm. or Municipality, Honorable Betty Namboze. Uh, I've always been saying that uh, the people who are uh, disguising in human rights uh, in democracy have had a, a hidden agenda to top over the government. And uh, such a move was planned uh, way back and they believe that they can take over the government before 2016. Mm. They're backed with uh, foreign uh, uh, powers who are interested in this country. And uh, such a move is dangerous because Uganda's history, we've come from way back. Mm. And at the moment when we are trying to stabilize as a nation, and we see people who want to top over government, uh, that is absolutely unacceptable. Uh, you have uh, put it very clear that uh, people who are uh, in, the, in the last couple of years, people who are coming into power, not by vote, were using bushes. But now we are seeing governments coming down from cities, just like you have mentioned in Cairo, mm -hmm. in Tunis, and in the, all the Arab Spring. And that these people have now said that they want to take over government. And I, I, I wonder if she bears in mind that the statement she has made violates the constitution of this country because for you to take over a government without um, proper procedures as are put in the constitution of this country is illegal and uh, uh, according to the law such people can be punished yeah, uh, that's punishable. life imprisonment or, 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 de or death penalty that is the case, just mentioning that you want to overthrow government. Yes, yes, you know I mean? yes. And uh, I believe uh, the security can take this very, very much seriously. Because uh, y you cannot dare say that you want to talk over government and you are putting the headquarters from uh, a political party somewhere. So uh, I, I want people to now to, to, to know the position of the government in this. You know the aim of every political party is to win political power. So you thought that... But, but there, there, there are constitutional means in which you're supposed to attain power. But if you decide to take over power through unconstitutional means, then that is unacceptable. Now the people uh, now can uh, uh, at least uh, uh, try to compromise with the government in a way that it is responding to the people whose interests are now very, very clear. Uh, we don't know what actually is going to happen because they're trying any means possible. And that is the reason why, actually, I've also believed that uh, 
if the government now understands the security threat that it is on now, that we also deploy uh, in southern Sudan, because we don't know that, uh, that the, 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 the power, the external powers who are uh, funding these people can also use those uh, other means. But we are not going to accept that. What, is, what, what do you think is behind these people's uh, raising up, particularly the issue of the mayor? Why do you think, don't you think that it was a blunder by the NRM, first of all, to start telling the issues, to start sabotaging the activities of the mayor? You have heard it very, very perfectly from the DP president, Dr. Mao. Mm. He himself knows that Lukwago is a prodigal son. They know that what he is doing is wrong. They've called him several times to come and then guide him in, in a way he's supposed to lead the city because he has been overlooked by, the, by, by other people who are having interest to talk over government. And that was uh, a tactical blunder that he did. So in that case, we know very well what the group of Honorable Ukwago, uh, uh, their intentions are. But it is take on the that. voters, the voters insist that they give their support to the mayor. Why, how comes that just a few people are eliminating the mayor? Only give the chance to the, the other 30 people or more in the KCCA to just take over the mayor like that. Now, if you look at the people who constituted to the presence of the Lord councillors and the Lord Mayor, you will analyze that the, the, Lord, that, that the same people who, who voted the Lord councillors and those Lord councillors who say that what you are doing it is not something we understand. I mean, they're the same who are, who are, voted, uh, who are voted by the people. So the Lord councillors acted, on, uh, acted on, on the mandate of the people who voted them. Some people and who, who, and, and who, out, who outnumbered the voters for the Lord Mayor? Because the Lord Mayor, I think, was voted by 230,000 people. And the Lord Councillors were voted by, if you to, to have a total, there are more than 700,000 people mm. who voted the Lord Councillors. So the issue would have been finished by the Lord Councillors Committee, which did not work out. Why the you accusations mm. to the Lord Mayor are, 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 are very clear. Are very clear. That he, Why not wait for his time of office to end? Then we, we save the country from such violence. But the constitution uh, uh, is very clear, uh, and the, the law is very clear. If there is, uh, uh, if the person that you electively put in uh, uh, in a position is not serving to his expectations, then there are procedures on, uh, on the way to bring him down or to bring her down, and, that, was, and, and that is the procedure mm. in which the, the Lord Mayor is brought down. But remember, the issues why the Lord Mayor has been behaving in the way he did is because of this hidden agenda that Madame Bachireke numbers uh, has declared. They want to take over government and we cannot accept that. We want to have the peace of this land. Want to just as a master key, just as the password. Uh, absolutely, the CEA and his group are using him. We know that very well. They have declared it. We are analyzing how best can we end the violence in the year 2014. Some people in Kampala are saying enough is enough. The young children are complaining. They have always been crying on the streets because of tear gas. The vendors and the other market people, people in business are complaining. Those in the corporate world, the various offices are complaining. They are tired of the running up and down in the city. But remember also, again, you cannot rule out the other aspirations of all Ugandans who want to see a change, and not just a change, but a fundamental change. But the question is, we have 2016 election. Why not wait? This would be time for working, and then we wait closer to 2016. We start all the politicking. We'll be analyzing all this. Remember that Kampala is, 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 a, is a center for the, all economic activities in the, in, the, in, the, in the country, Uganda. And when, when they say when Kampala sneezes, the entire Uganda catches cold. So we'll be wondering if it is to sneeze again this time. Again, we'll be destined for more violence. Going on to the other side, welcome to show us again. Thank you. You have heard him trying to analyze all these points. And yeah. where, where? Yes, so, to... uh, I've been hearing my colleague mm. giving in his views. But uh, we want to make it clear, uh, the NRM government has always instigated this habit of uh, riots in Kampala. They have indeed played a very big role yes. to see that the, the nation catches cold, catches cold, as you said. Mm. Uh, if, uh, if the Lord Mayor was elected by two, 200,000, 230 people mm. plus 
And right away, my colleague is saying the number in the council, uh, the, the council has had the right to, to overthrow or to vote against him. Uh, it shows that very many leaders in this government, the NRM government, should have already gone. Yeah. We have seen very many NRM cadres and leaders, ministers, even the, the president himself making a lot of mistakes. But we have always given him a pardon. Uh, you, you will remember, you, you, you remember about the incidents of the prime minister, uh, the what, this incident of what? Temangaro. Temangaro. The prime minister was, uh, was pardoned by, by the president. The, the, there is no way we can chase away the road mayor mm -hmm. like that. They are, they, are, they are talking about the statement of uh, Betty mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But you must, uh, you must note that uh, when you, 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 you pressurize someone... That is about treason, first time. His statement is treason. Fine, it could go to treason, but the, 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 the MP stated it clearly mm. that we, they have always fought for change. We have always gone to general elections. The, court, the courts have always given ruling that the, the, election, the elections were not free and fair, mm. and nothing has been done. We have called for electoral reforms. We are, no, we are seeing no change. The NRM is continuing to show that they will rule by force. Yeah. So if this government does not show any sign of bringing free and fair elections, this is going to continue. These colleagues of ours should President be President Seven says no one can, over, can, can uh, take over, overthrow Uganda through use of arms, as, as we start. It is on record that uh, Uganda has only got one rebel. Uh, it, it is on record that we have never got uh, any rebellious government apart from this NRM government. Even when we were attaining independence, we got it in, uh, we got it in, in a free, in, in a peaceful what? Mm. With peaceful means. But when NRM government came, it instituted the rebel habits in every department of its own. Even now, you can, uh, you can look at uh, the, the way they are handling the city. They abducted the office of the Lord Mayor. Abduction. You're using the word abduction. They abducted I remember it during the activities of calling. <laughs> because uh, when you go, I, will, I heard that when you, some of our colleagues went to the council, mm. to, to the state hall, to check on the office, and even the, the padlocks were changed. Uh, and I don't know why they are doing all that. Because the Lord Mayor is just a mere individual. Okay. But there are so many parties behind, forces. Uh, forces come after these ones have shown interest in the, in the, in the whole issue. If they had left the mayor to, 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 to finish on his term, because right from the start after the mayor had won, after the mayor had been declared uh, a win, they, they, they started to show that uh, they are not interested to work with him. It, it was him, it was him. No, ah. uh, because the, 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 the road mayor has no, ne, never uh, enjoyed the freedom, freedom in his office. office. Any comment there before he goes? The road mayor has never enjoyed any freedom well, in his when, office. When the Lord mayor came, mm. he showed us mm. that uh, his intentions were different from what he was supposed to do as a Lord mayor. Mm. He said that he has won the president. And and I, 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 and yeah, and I wonder if uh, whether the president was participatory in, uh, in, in, in the Kampala politics they at that were, time. They and, and, what, and what he did, mm. he, uh, the kind which was given to him, mm. uh, uh, he started putting that a person who is uh, a self-declared rebel of the government. Uh, I mean, in inverted commas, that is Dr. BCJ. Mm. Uh, he puts him uh, in, in the car of the Lord Mayor. And he starts moving around the city, causing commotion, no, telling uh, people you shouldn't uh, pay taxes, no. telling people that you shouldn't do this. I mean, what do you expect the government to do? The other side. Uh, no, the, 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 this person, uh, the, this colleague of mine is misleading the, the, the public. Misleading the public. 
Uh, the prophet of doom or what? The, the, what Lord, the Lord Mayor, mm. after swearing again, we are in a multi party dispensation. Mm. Everyone has a route to take. Okay? The Lord Mayor was independent, but at the end of the day, he signed a, a, a memorandum with a, given, a, with a certain group of people mm. on, on whom he is going to work, or, or, to, to work with. There is no problem. It is a, it, the Lord Mayor has a right to work with Dr. Vesey. Exactly. The Lord Mayor has a right to work with President Museveni. Work with numbers. If need, be, if need be, the Lord Mayor has a right to work with the numbers because we have seen it in very many instances whereby where we see President Museveni with opposition members. Mm. We saw President Museveni with the Salam Sumba in Kamuri. We have already seen. Uh, this former former mayor of Kampala, mm. Haji Nasa Sebagala, who claims to now be a president general of a given uh, black black party, mm. uh, liberal party, we have not blamed the president Museveni for doing so. Mm. We, we 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 get it to we we come to ask these members of NRM why do they act. To why do they assume President Museveni to be uh, a person who came from FN to, to, to the Constitution? The Constitution mm. gave him a lot of powers. What to do? Oh, the who? The Uganda, president. He, actually, the Uganda's Constitution gives a lot of freedom. But we, the, the Lord the has a right to move with anybody he wants. Mm. Uh, and uh, Dr. Besid is, uh, is a, po a, po a political president. He's, uh, he's, a, I mean, he's a former president of uh, FDC. Mm. He has contested several times on, uh, uh, on, this, on, on, on the presidency. At the same time, he becomes a very big stakeholder in this one. In this country. In this country. So I don't think that is a very, a very big point to mention. Analyzing violence, because it's our center of discussion. Mm. What do you think is the genesis of the violence in the city? It is the NRM. NRM? Yes. Because they are always, uh, they are cowards. They are cowards? To very many instances uh, where... The government is, has been in power for that long. You want to say they are cowards? <laughs> they are cowards. Yeah? Because for just a mere one individual, mm. you deploy thousands of, of soldiers around his home. Huh? You, you, you deploy uh, a lot of members and uh, armed machineries around his home because uh, one individual has, has, made a, 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 has made a statement that to, the following day is going to, mm -hmm. to his office or to, 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 to lay a rally somewhere. It, if the government wants to know that uh, th this country can move on peacefully, let them give a chance. Because the police is mandated to, to protect, protect people and the their property. people mm. and, uh, and the property. If we, get, we, we inform the police that, uh, if the Lord Mayor informs the police that he's going to have a rally somewhere, let them just deploy there to see that nothing happens apart from the ladder. Then we shall have violence yes. free company. I will give, uh, give a small mm. example. Give an example, uh, then it will An example. So this uh, just, this uh, Pakaya, the mm. incident that has just happened, the police escorted the, the road the mayor man. to the scene. He, he, he came, he talked to the people, he went back to his home. What happened there? They say sometimes they make political statements that can incite the public. The, were not there political statements? They were there. They were there. Nothing happened. People here and people uh, filter out the, 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 the good things and the bad things. Okay? If these people want to see that the, the, the country can go on, let them uh, give chance. Give chance to the, the, to, to the opposition side. Okay? Because they.
Kira Uganda Police, Mwami Kaihura, tugenda kuteka keri so, e, George. Tugenda kutunulira. Tulabe kubanga bulijomu tuza press conference. Ne mkwata nebe musanze muloji, ne mkwata ne mbalteka ku TV. Wabula adumira polisi ye kampala mkade mwese jejerum. <tipos> Rodi maya wechi waga kampala sarongo ili asuka kwa go Ati gizi zanti government inti ya mbibuwa kwa polisi Ya ndivanga ya limote katike ziru kuru kwe Okula vanti 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 Rodi maya binabiyo gedo Rufa njima uwe vya vijitingana Nga polisi ya gamanti wali uo Abagalo kuwa mba Rodi maya Oba abu mmakage uboli ya uono mmiyo kawe Sulaimani chidandara Government kwe tuko kula ngiri dati wali wa batekika Oru kwe kwe ruti oru nene Tutu sako ulabe, obuja ula mwafu Neko mao, neta yonge la yo Chiba cha ulabe ni yo Ila tulino kuro oza Nti government Yekore chiku, yerima biga uru kuogo Ngegeza haku kutekira tekira Kuteka teka vana Uganda Emitima jabu Nti singa chiba deo Eja ganti yo ya vategeza Nti chino chechigendo kubera o Kubanga Chijika kata kukwata abantu wabo Neba kuba mbuga za mateka Eda Tugenda kutunulira neriso George Nga tutunulira Uganda Police Mwami Kaihura Tugenda kuteka keriso George Tugenda kutunulira Tulabe kubanga bujomu tuza press conference Ne mkwata nebe musanze muloji Ne mkwata ne mbalteka kutunulira Wabula adumira polisi ye kampala mkade mwese njejerum Ate gizi zanti polisi teina busabuzi ya dugu Yizo huwa mba bantu Okuja kongo mtu wa menya mateka Urunibagenda kumasu mwusu mkwata Ata mtu wa mbeka za mateka Wabula ye mbaka wa wakono nambuze bachirike Irachi na ganyeza Ntina ye ya liya wa mtu wa kwa polisi Polisi te wamba Enu polisi ya Uganda It is a legitimate force So no way to test wala kwa wamba mtu Wabula singa Ate tedi chintu chanzo ni mungu mno, ngo kubera na mu polisi ayogere viobolimba, echiunji kai hula simu polisi, moyekera, biwa kola biyani ni mungu kwa, biwa lumbanga wantu ne baba tayi chilonga bafu da basi rikale bobote, kumachia ne bako mau ne baba kubagiza, biwa biare sawa nu. Kai hula mani dua ya wamba ba na biya bufuzi omu kubeyali ya wambie yenze ya buza wa bantu kaka tia limu lukwe orodho kuwa mba lord mayor wa bantu kubanga bali mire dua ayaga la kuwa mbo ba ba na be biba kola ngamu siku. Lord mayor ngasi nzidi makagi wakali gaga sangi wa murubaga. Wavula singa abako abako mnyama mateka mkuu atabukwa s chetuita arrest sote walowe chokuwa baba wambi baba wantu ababiova abatemu baba wamba na yepolisi te wamba atete di chini tu chanzo ni mungu mno ngo kubera na mu polisi ayogere viobolimba echirunji kaihula simu polisi moyekera biwa